The ICF Canoe Sprint World Championships are brought to you by the Province of Ontario, the Government of Canada, and Tourism Niagara. And up next is race 166, the A final of the under 23 men's K4 1000 meters. Well, a real fun race coming up here. The K4 event, always a race. The lane number one from Poland, lane two from Serbia, lane three from Hungary, four is Russia, five is Slovakia, six is Australia, seven is New Zealand, eight is France, and nine is Canada. Etienne Bouchain, Sam Roworth, Rob Clark, and Philippe Ducheno. And here's Team Canada in the under 23 men's K4000 meter event. They're just parking that boat in the boot. Big long boat, difficult to get it perfectly centered. You want it in there. You can see the way it moves the whole thing. Lots of inertia there. And I love these K4 races. Nine boats across, 36 athletes, 72 blades. Gonna be a flash. Yeah, they're always fast. They're always wild. Canadians at the bottom of your screen, the red boat, red tops, they'll be easy to follow this whole race, but make sure you pay attention to the middle of your screen, the top seeds in lane four, Russia, lane five, Slovakia, and lane six, Australia, for extremely strong crews. Ready? Pay attention to the middle, lane five, in the white boat with the white and blue tops. Very strong team, but look at Team Canada at the bottom of your screen. They're off to a great start. They're staying with the field right now. Look at how in sync they are with big Phil Ducheneau in the back. He's a big, strong boy with big lungs. A cross-country skier loves these long events. Well, that engine room is positions three and four. Sam Roworth and Duchesne are really going to have to dig in hard. Use their legs, the big muscles in their back and in their trunks, and use their legs as leverage and really rip that blade through. But stay in control. Listen to the boat. Follow your race plan. I love what they've done for a start here. Up at the top of their screen, the third boat in, the red boat with the green top. That's hungry. They are always favorites in every race. Incredibly talented and deep country when it comes to sprint paddling but right in the middle you see the white boat with the blue tops uh, blue and white tops that's Slovakia they are leading the race right now but being challenged by Serbia up in lane two red boat white tops this is going to be a very close race the Canadians are trailing by a little bit but they know that they have to go and they will turn it on when they have to they are now approaching 400 meters and it looks like the Slovakians have about a half boat to uh, about a half boat over the Serbians. Yeah, the Slovakians have really got a great race going on here. And look at how smooth their boat is. They make it look easy, like a knife cutting through hot butter. It's just beautiful to watch them go through this great And technique. at the halfway mark, it is the Slovakians by a half boat over lane two, Serbia and the red boat with the white, red, and blue tops. And the Hungarians are in there too, the second right red boat from the top in the green jerseys. And lane four as well, the Russians, it is a close boat, close race, but the Slovakians up in lane five are in the lead by a half boat now over the rest of the field. It is a very, very close K4 1000 meter race. And here come the Russians, they're really starting to reel things in. You can tell the Slovakians are digging in hard, but watch the boat in the all white jerseys. The Russians right beside the leaders are gonna start putting on a finishing kick. They're coming through about the three-quarter mark now. This is when the pain is intense. This hurts. It is all mental now. It is just pushing and pushing, trying to keep the momentum of these big boats going. You want to get to that finish line as fast as you can. And at the 200-meter mark, it is Slovakia by three-quarters of a boat over lane four, Russia in the white boat with the white jerseys. And then it looks like Serbia near the top of your screen in the red boat with the white and blue jerseys in third. But there is a tight, tight race now for second as well, but it looks like the Slovakians have a commanding lead going into the last 100 meters. And the Slovakians are really starting to pour it on, but here comes the late charge from the Russian bear beside them in the white boat. This is going to be an incredibly close finish, but the Slovakians have managed to hold them up. Will they be caught in the last 30 meters? It looks like no, Slovakia will win. They will not be caught. Russia second and then too close to call for third. It looks like lane two, Serbia, or lane three, Hungary, for the bronze medal at the under 23 World Championships. But Slovakia is the winner of the K4000 meter A final. Watch the Serbian boat, the second boat from the top of your screen in the red. Watch them off the start. Very nice start by them. And the Hungarians just to the right in the other red boat with the green jerseys. Excellent start by both those crews. You can see here the Serbians were 
early out in second place, but look at the Slovakians at the halfway mark. Three quarters of a boat on the rest of the field. A very gutsy race by them, just going for it from start to finish. Amazing, amazing effort. And at the line, it is lane five, Slovakia with the gold medal. Lane four, Russia, and then too close to call for third. And here is Paul with the winners from Slovakia. And I'm here with the uh, Slovakian crew, just won the gold medal, your world champions. What do you have to say? Whew. Whew. Sorry, I'm not. So everything went all right. We do our best. So that was enough for gold. So we are, we are very happy. How did you make adjustments to your races from the, from the heats and semis into the final? What did you do differently? Nothing. 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 Just went a little faster. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you very much. All right. And here are the results for the A final of the under 23 men's K4 1000 meter. It is Slovakia in first, Russia in second, and it was Hungary in third. Look at how close that is. Only about five hundredths of a second separating Hungary and Serbia. Amazing, amazing race. The winners at 37.46. What a race. Yeah.